Hello everyone, this is Rishik and uh, currently I'm going to be presenting my biology project um, on the topic, why do we fall ill? So I'll be distinguish, distinguishing between um, being healthy and being disease free and I'll give an introduction to what research I have done and the survey which I have created and um, also about the um, importance of prevention of disease and uh, the steps of treatment. So uh, I'll go ahead. So uh, in this presentation, uh, I'll be explaining about um, the survey which I have done on uh, health awareness and chronic and acute diseases, and also share my experiences with having chronic diseases. And I will also uh, explain about the research I have done on a few pulmonary diseases, such as uh, bronchitis and pneumonia. So the aim of this work is to, uh, it's basically educational, um, to give an extensive idea and uh, make people aware of the uh, importance of their health and how to take care of it. And uh, so basically health is a state of being able to function effectively, physically, socially and mentally. And well-being is defined based on individual aim, individuals' aims and interests. So. Uh, my favorite sport is cricket. So health to me is being able to perform well without getting hurt in cricket. And also um, not forming any, any enemies in school and being very friendly with everyone. And also uh, being able to um, control my emotions and be happy in life. Now going to the components of ensuring health. So health sometimes you have to depend on external factors to um, uh, achieve it. So the physical environment, which can depend on the social environment as well, such as um, the surroundings around you, are they clean? Uh, are they not polluted? And then public cleanliness, like um, removal of sewage and uh, removal of garbage instead of being stagnated and uh, sewage water being uh, stuck on the roads. And then, um, an important factor in the social environment is being happy through social equality and harmony by um, removal of all types of discrimination and um, helping each other whenever necessary. And then um, well-functioning public facilities which are uh, mentioned by the government um, without any hygiene and sanitation problems. And then there, are, uh, there is sanitation and hygiene. Uh, so um, for example, we have to keep our surroundings clean so that mosquitoes do not breed. And uh, after that, um, very important thing personally, which I feel is that um, the opportunity to realize unique potential. So each one of us has um, their own uh, talents. So um, my hobby is learning uh, classical music. So health to me is making sure that my vocal cords are fit and I do practice every day and uh, I do not get hurt anywhere near my throat and do not strain my throat in any way and uh, be able to um, strengthen my throat through uh, exercises and uh, being able to perform well in concerts. Uh, another major thing is nutrition. So um, in turn, if you do not have um, a good economic status or uh, you are unable to afford good food or uh, you cannot um, uh, afford to get clean food near clean areas, uh, then um, your nutrition levels will decrease, uh, leading to less immunity. And uh, this can lower your health by um, bringing in pathogens into your body. And uh, uh, the opportunity to work will um, open pathways for getting food and being happy. Uh, so this is also very important for um, ensuring we are healthy. So here is a picture with um, the uh, five F's which is mentioned in our textbook um, about fecal matter. So it, it uh, covers two essential aspects for each type of um, uh, aspect which we should be uh, following for um, being healthy. So sanitation and hygiene, for example, uh, fluids should be uh, sterilized and uh, just as we pasteurize milk by heating it and killing bacteria, we can uh, heat water and uh, store water safely. 
um, there, there are alter, there are also filters which um, um, purify the uh, groundwater so that there are no harmful chemicals, and then protecting the water source. Now, coming to the causes of disease, there are many causes, uh, levels of causes to a disease. Um, unclean drinking water, uh, less immunity due to um, less nutrition, as I said, and uh, less economic income. And then uh, HIV infection, uh, having AIDS, and then different genetic mutations, which are specific to um, each disease, which can affect the infection and uh, the reaction to a disease and poor public services these are all contributory causes so most possibly a, a disease can have multiple causes with few major causes like um, immediate causes so now coming to um, distinctions between healthiness and uh, being disease free so disease is any abnormal condition which is observed which is uh, off from the path of normal metabolism and function in the body. So uh, we can use the words disturbed ease or being un uncomfortable due to a certain cause. It does not have to be a final cause or an absolute cause. It can be a um, symptomatic cause such as uh, loose motions can be caused by um, any indigestion uh, or any stomach infection. and um, uh, simply not being diseased isn't the same as being healthy. So um, being able to achieve your potential and um, uh, being able to be happy is good health. And without suffering from a disease, you can be in poor health without a good exercise, uh, which can lead to obesity. And uh, uh, also um, high, um, no control with food, uh, mental diseases and uh, such things. These should be controlled and diagnosed and treated, because if not, they can be um, they can eventually turn out to become a disease. So, how do we identify a disease? So, there are um, two different uh, important uh, words which I'll be using: signs and symptoms. So, symptoms are uh, physical indications of uh, a disease, such as pain, um, headache. Uh, unconsciousness and uh, signs are um, specific in it they can be in inflammatory markers or other technicalities which are used by physicians and doctors to identify um, elaborate uh, uh, sorry identify um, uh, your uh, disease in laboratories through laboratory tests so um, when one or more physiological systems in the body uh, they worsen in function they give rise to signs and symptoms and these indicate the presence of the disease and if further research is conducted um, they can um, uh, conclude the type of disease and the name of the disease also genetic sequen uh, sequencing is also one way of finding out diseases so coming to the major topic acute and chronic diseases a number of factors affect the manifestation of disease, such as the amount of um, uh, pathogens and microbes present in the body, uh, your uh, immunity, uh, which is affected by uh, uh, if you have HIV infection, if you do not have good nutrition, or you do not, you are not fit, you do not uh, practice healthy habits or have a balanced diet and balanced lifestyle, um, enough sleep, which is necessary and uh, also enough rest when you are sick and uh, also preventive measures and uh, finally um, there are uh, two types which i mentioned acute and chronic uh, shortly i can say that acute diseases are um, they uh, exist for a small amount of time uh, and they do not uh, impact the body and uh, have any long lasting side effects uh, after a diagnosis. Uh, chronic diseases are long, long lasting and they can result in poor health. Um, they can result in fatigue, weight loss 
and uh, it's very uh, difficult to cure them only some of them are uh, uh, curable and so basically chronic diseases uh, are becoming prevalent uh, more and more day by day uh, they can be due to lifestyle habits um, and uh, other um, aspects so uh, basically chronic disease causes poor health for example um, let me give my experiences um, one major um, disease which i had it's it was actually misdiagnosed it is called chronic recurrent multifocal osteomyelitis shortly known as crmo it is an autoimmune disease it is also known as auto inflammatory but it is actually autoimmune so basically um, uh, it started when i was around 4 uh, years old um, i i had severe um, tbl pain so uh, basically this affects the long bones of the body by um, thinking that the immune system thinks that there is some or the other pathogen affecting the body and it attacks the body cells itself uh, leading to lesions in the bones uh, edema forming uh, swelling and inflammation inflammation is basically a site where there is swelling and pain when uh, there is repair or uh, attack done um, near a certain tissue so this caused me a limping uh, severe pain which uh, does not get uh, uh, subsided even though i take uh, anti inflammatory drugs and uh, such but later um, a few uh, two or three years back uh, it was diagnosed as hftc they it i was told that uh, it was misdiagnosed so now it's a endocrine um, problem um due to a galen t3 gene mutation um so due to um uh, the um uh, fgf23 uh, hormone being produced extensively it is not helping the kidney in filtering out excess phosphate and calcium so what happens is that uh, so hyperphosphatemic familial tumoral calcinosis so hyperphosphatemic um is basically it stands for hyperphosphatemia which is high phosphate levels in the serum of the blood uh, tumoral calcinosis is basically a calcification forming near um, uh, uh, edges of uh, and joints of the bones um, it's like uh, you can call it a tumor exactly but it can be a lobular uh, shaped uh, calcification so last year um, uh, a calcification formed near my elbow and i had to use um, uh, uh, sevilamer carbonate which is a phosphate binder which uh, assists my body in removing excess phosphate from my food and uh, i'm taking in a low phosphate diet and uh, i got it surgically removed recently so though i have gone through um, pain before now that i am fine i think of it as uh, i am uh, the medical world is benefiting from my abnormal case uh, as i am a research subject and uh, people young children and uh, uh, people who have more severity of the condition than me are benefiting so that uh, uh, it can be prevented or uh, sub, uh, suppressed in the future so uh, another um, two chronic diseases which were temporary which i had were bronchitis and asthma when i was young so um, there are uh, five different means of spread so um, they are um, uh, through rabid animals and pets such as dogs and uh, bats uh, and uh, physical contact sexual contact and um, droplets airborne diseases and uh, normal contact so these are the basic types of spread uh, of disease so treatment uh, is uh, specific it depends on um, the type of pathogen which is in uh, infecting your body so there are uh, different types of pathogens like uh, bacteria virus fungi um protozoans and uh, others so uh, for example a bacterial cell um uh, forms a cell wall uh, when 
um, when it is attacked, when it is multiplying in the body. So what antibiotics do are um, they stop this function from happening and they are, they are only specific to the bacterial cells uh, so that they don't affect the human body cells. Now, um, coming to uh, principles of prevention, uh, certain bad habits uh, and addictions such as uh, um, alcoholism, uh, drug intake for uh, euphoria and uh, smoking and uh, misdiagnosis and uh, usage of wrong drugs. These are some basic principles of prevention so that uh, the immune system works well and um, the body does not keep getting damaged. Now let's go to the next section, uh, my survey. So I did not gather much responses as uh, uh, I had uh, done my form recently, but basically I'll give you an overview of um, my purpose and what I was doing uh, throughout um, my making of the form. Just a minute. So I hope you guys can see here. So here I've given a detailed uh, introduction about uh, the purpose of um, my survey. So here before starting, uh, I've given a um, reference to the NCRT book, what the activity was. And um, I've uh, divided um, the age groups infants uh, have uh, less uh, developed immunity as well as uh, young children so i wanted to see the differences in different age groups in their responses to diseases so 10 to 13 is the adolescent age and then uh, this is the time when onset of puberty occurs um, spermark in males and menarch in females and uh, uh, from the teenage age to young adults bachelors um uh, adult age uh, older adults and then um, elderly people so i wanted to see uh, five age uh, five year intervals and uh, their effect on health um so as age uh, increases the function of the body um, may um, start decaying due to uh, um, many weaknesses in the body and other or uh, organ problems I then asked about uh, the profession of uh, the person if they are working because I wanted to see if their economic status is uh, helping um, uh, their uh, intake of nutrition. And uh, it was mentioned in the textbook about um, the healthy attitude of students um, showing interest and working hard for your work, uh, for your tasks. So I wanted to ask students if um, this was their attitude. Now, um, so I wanted to gather a basic idea of uh, the opinions of uh, the viewers about uh, what they know about being healthy, the, uh, what they thought about the difference was between uh, healthy, being healthy and being disease free and their categorization of themselves. And uh, there was a uh, activity at the beginning of the lesson about um, uh, health being affected due to a natural calamity. And um, then uh, there was an activity about uh, asking your municipality about uh, how garbage is collected uh, and uh, who is responsible for it. And these are some other questions based on the major topics mentioned in the textbook. And here I have given a reference of the five Fs. So that, uh, as I said, awareness can increase in the people who are viewing this form. So uh, the major questions I have asked are, um, did you suffer from acute diseases during the last three months? 
so I have suffered from uh, I have not suffered uh, because luckily it was a um, mild effect. I got COVID-19 just two weeks ago, as you guys all know. And I asked the people uh, about if they knew uh, which organ system was affected. So now I'll fast forward. I asked this disease specific question if it was infectious because I wanted to know if they knew the pathogen behind the disease, if it was not well known or if they were a, um, a professional in uh, the medical field. If it was not infectious, I wanted to know if it was hereditary or not and what antibiotics were used. And then I asked about the means of spread. Uh, was, was there any history of uh, being unprotected near uh, any uh, people in your circle who were infected with any disease? And uh, I asked about chronic diseases and I asked about uh, how frequently do you get remission and uh, flare ups? Uh, for example, cancer is a chronic disease. So Sometimes there are flare-ups of pain and symptoms, but again, there is remission. Uh, so you can see uh, there is a movie called Dil Bechara, which, uh, which is a story about uh, two um, cancer patients. So uh, one person has thyroid cancer, and you can see uh, our beloved um, actor Sushant Singh Rajput, who acted as um, a cancer patient. He initially was in remission, but he passed away due to the onset again of uh, symptoms. So uh, the final question which I wanted to know was the uh, total number of uh, people having chronic health conditions in the neighborhood. And then uh, related to the COVID-19 pandemic, I wanted to know uh, if uh, people suffered from any endemic diseases and if they were immunized through vaccination and uh, what precautions they followed and uh, such questions and about uh, spreading awareness about um, following protocols in the pandemic to stay safe and uh, the necessity of going out i analyzed that and uh, yeah i finally asked um, uh, the viewers uh, about their opinion on the differences between uh, the two questions and uh, the effect of chronic and acute diseases on the general health of the population. So I'll come back to my research work now. Okay, so um, here is a chart which I have done on um, respiratory diseases. Uh, the major two which I have researched on are uh, tuberculosis and pneumonia. Uh, and uh, also I chose uh, lung cancer, asthma and bronchitis. So just, uh, um, I'm just showing the chart here. Just a second. Okay, so first of all, um, there is a, a wide uh, range of respiratory diseases. So these are diseases which make gas exchange difficult in air breathing animals, such as uh, humans and mammals. Uh, so different parts of the lung which are infected are the trachea, the bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli, the pleural cavity and the um, extra respiratory muscles and nerves which are surrounding such as the liver and um, other uh, the heart and uh, other organs. So some names of diseases are uh, COPD, um, uh, emphysema and pharyngitis and SARS. So there are um, uh, different types of SARS. So SARS-CoV-2 is the uh, novel coronavirus which um, caused COVID-19 in the current pandemic. So there is a wide group of uh, severe acute respiratory syndromes and uh, a wide family of um, 
coronavirus uh, uh, viruses as well. As we can see, um, um, mutations and different variants are coming up month by month. Uh, just because a virus is also, I mean, we can say that it is a type of living organism. So as we develop immunity, it also develops immunity to uh, different drugs and um, different functions in the body. So my first uh, disease and major uh, disease which I have chosen is tuberculosis, also known as TB. So it is caused by the bacteria, myobacterium tuberculosis, which was discovered by Robert Koch, which uh, we all know uh, through the Koch's postulates um, by the anthrax disease. So it can be latent, which means that uh, it cannot be seen. Uh, its symptoms cannot be seen just like HIV, which takes five to 10 years for, uh, uh, sorry, multiple years for um, the symptoms to arise. Or sometimes the symptoms are not even seen. It is just a um, inability to defend yourself from other diseases. So the symptoms are um, chronic cough, fever, uh, night sweats, and weight loss. So uh, it is historically known as consumption. I've learned this uh, through reading the English novel, which was provided this year, called uh, Anne of Green Gables, where Anne's friend um, suffers from consumption and passes away at a very young age. It's called consumption because it takes away a lot of your body mass and a lot of weight loss occurs. So the basic way of spread is um, from person to person when unprotected through air droplets. So there is diagnosis based on x-rays, um, microscopic examination and a skin disease, uh, sorry, a skin examination if the uh, tuberculosis is latent or not visible. And also bodily fluids can be uh, cultured so that um, growth of tuberculosis can be seen. So culturing is basically uh, uh, creating an environment where the bacteria, the organism can grow. It is just like a type of test tube uh, baby or uh, such where an environment is created for an organism to grow. So prevention is uh, early screening and detection uh, uh, vaccination for TB and uh, treatment with antibiotics and directly, uh, directly observed therapy. So tuberculosis can be drug resistant and extremely drug resistant in some countries. And it is, uh, very, it is a very um, pressing problem uh, currently. So other risk factors are uh, smoking, immunodeficiency, which can be caused by HIV virus, uh, diabetes, genetic uh, um, differences, silicosis, drug abuse such as alcoholism and smoking, and uh, pollution and malnutrition among many others. If left untreated, this can spread to um, different body parts. And uh, this began increasing in 1985, but later um, the prevalence of this disease increased. So some complications if not, if not treated are uh, liver, kidney, and heart disorders. Coming to lung cancer, basically an overview of cancer, it is a uh, uncontrollable, uh, sorry, an uncontrolled um, uh, growth of um, uh, uncontrolled, uh, sorry, uh, an uncontrolled uh, growth of uh, different cells in different tissues. So this begins in lungs and spreads to lymph nodes. And uh, when it is spread to other organs, it is called metastasis. So this is the uh, situation of lung cancer. There are two main types, small cell uh, lung cancer and non-small uh, cell cancer. So the symptoms of uh, lung cancer are coughing, chest pain, wheezing, shortness of breath, and more. The major causes are um, radioactive exposure to gases such as radon, a family history of lung cancer, which can be spread hereditarily uh, through, uh, sorry, through genes, uh, and then genetic mutations and cigarette smoking. So basic prevention can be done through um, uh, staying away from carcinogens and uh, harmful chemicals at work, preventing HIV infection, uh, getting blood tests done um, before um, um, giving blood to people who are in urgent need and uh, also stopping smoking. 
so about addictions um through uh, extensive um development of persistence um you can uh, basically create a uh, thought where you understand the uh, painful um, emotional and physical problems of addictions which can uh, uh, change your life uh, negatively so that is uh, through therapy also you can stop uh, smoking and um, uh, being an alcoholic though it appears to be very um, interesting or uh, addictive coming to asthma so i have used um, inhalers which are basically different gases uh, which can uh, help in um, free breathing so uh, basically it's a long term inflammation of the lungs the symptoms are air flow obstruction uh, bronchospasms wheezing which is uh, sound when you are breathing and uh, mucus and chest tightness shortness of breath and coughing so combination of genetic and environmental factors is uh, known to be the major uh, um, cause for asthma uh, so exposure to allergens uh, the drugs like aspirin and beta blockers are major triggers to this disease too so if you are allergic to uh, pollen during pollen season uh, this can um, irritate your uh, lungs and cause asthma or um it can cause uh, um escalation of your disease and then there is no known cure for asthma but can be easily treatable so coming to pneumonia uh, pneumonia is uh, well known to be currently caused by covid-19 uh, um uh, infection as well it is a serious infection of lungs and has many different causes so uh, it can be um curbed by using uh, um antibiotics and drugs like remdesivir as we all know so there are many different types uh, there is no specific uh, pathogen causing this uh, bacterial um, pneumonia which is caused by streptococcus pneumoniae and occurs in people with existing issues uh, uh, people who are alcoholics and have immunodeficiency so um viral pneumonia can be caused by influenza virus uh, and other viruses too and there is a high risk when organ transplantation occurs for the patient and it accounts for one third of adult patients of pneumonia mycoplasma um, uh, pneumonia is caused by mycoplasma pneumonia and fungal pneumonia is very uncommon and there is a group of non infectious uh, pneumonia which is caused by existing diseases uh which is classification uh, which is uh, classified by um all the diffuse lung diseases so basically any serious infection of the lungs is pneumonia finally bronchitis is uh, the inflamed lining of bronchial tubes and uh, the symptoms are coughing up thick mucus which is multicolored or has uh, small signs of blood um it can be acute or chronic chronic is very uh, dangerous whereas acute uh, subsides in uh, some time it can be due to smoking uh, viruses such as the influenza virus dust and pollution and exposure to toxic gases and antibiotics are not effective because um antibiotics are mostly not effective against viruses uh, causing bronchitis so sputum is also another name for mucus and then fatigue which is uh, not uh, having enough energy to do work shortness of breath chills which is shivering and then slight fever chest discomfort and pain near the chest are all uh, symptoms of bronchitis and it can also be a type of uh, chronic ob obstructive pulmonary disease and uh, finally uh, inhaled bronchodilators steroids uh, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs Uh, uh and rehabilitation work very well against bronchitis so uh here is my um uh poster once again a view here i have uh, drawn a picture of um uh one lung so um fi finally i'll conclude 
by saying that uh, I hope that I was able to connect connect to real life uh, circumstances and explain about uh, um, chronic and acute diseases and health and uh, how awareness can increase your happiness in life and how health is important. Thank you for spending time to listen to my presentation.